Alright, let's go over letter B. For letter B, there's a couple ways of doing the problem. If I want to find what I think would be the easiest, I'm going to distribute this exponent to all the other exponents. Um, but I'm not going to do that for the bottom. The reason why is I rather this is the base and this is the exponent. It's a negative exponent, so I'd rather just bring this whole thing up. I have negative m to the third power. Uh, what happened? Oh, there's a four. Negative m to the fourth power to the third power. Um, you could distribute that 3 to the negative 1. Negative 1 to the third power is appropriate, but there's a negative 1 already there. Does that make sense? And then this one, I have 2m to the second power, but now it's in the numerator, and it's a positive 2. Does that make sense? So you could have distributed this negative exponent to um, all the other exponents, but then you have to think about it. It's like the person who doesn't wash their hands. If your dirty hands start touching everything, everything's going to get dirty. Does that make sense? So if you kind of clean it up here, I don't have to infect everything. It'll just become no more negative exponents. Okay? If I go around now and simplify this problem, negative 1 to the third power, or negative to the third power, it's a negative. Uh, 4 times 3 is? I can distribute this one. 2 squared. 4 and m to the second times 2. Mm. m to the fourth. This is a constant, like a negative 1. So negative 1 times 4 is negative. Four and m to the twelfth times m to the uh, fourth is 32. m to the sixteenth, and that's our answer. I'll tell you another strategy. Repeat after me, class. When in doubt. Write it out. Write it out. Took it from another teacher. You don't. If you don't know what it means to uh, distribute the, they call that the power rule of exponents. You can just write out the base here. How many times? Three times. Three times. And it is kind of a pain, right? It's more work. It's kind of like writing it out. Um, that one just goes back up to the numerator, and you just write it out twice. And then that might help you kind of see it. Does that make sense? So when in doubt, write it out.